Vehicle of the Day in here is the SVR Sport Vehicle Recovery. It's a 85-ton truck, eight-wheel drive, is capable to get into even the hardest uh, cross-country ground. Any vehicle which we get bogged in, this vehicle will get to it and recover it. The SVR is a highly capable vehicle. It's got 440 horsepower engine and it'll get to wherever it needs to be. It can recover any vehicle that we've got in Afghanistan in a variety of methods. Whilst the government mechanics are carrying out their job, their protection is vital. To enable them to focus on what they've got to do, we've got force protection assets that will push out and ensure we're protected. In front you'll see a warrior vehicle providing overwatch from the surrounding area using its weapon systems and optical sights to survey the ground. The crew from the Jackal have also got out and you'll see them dismounted to the left and to the right also providing overwatch on the surrounding area. The recovery mechanics are currently displaying the scene and seeing what, exactly what they're going to have to do to enable this vehicle to be recovered. They're looking at any damage that the vehicle is sustained and any problems that are going to be caused to mobilise them. Once they're happy, they'll reverse the SVR up to the Jackal and they can begin the recovery. The Jackal may seem fairly unarmoured. It's quite a small vehicle, one of the lightest vehicles we've got at six and a half tons. But the six and a half tons, you're still not going to get it anywhere getting out and pushing. So you've still got to get the SPR involved. Whilst it doesn't have as much armour as some of our larger vehicles, it's um, highly manoeuvrable and it has a lot of firepower. So its protection comes from the fact that it can get out of the way of any sticky situation. You see Corporal Potsville has now got the SPR in position and they're ready to begin the recovery. They can lift these vehicles in a variety of ways. Every vehicle in service has got lifting 